other parts of the world start to relax COVID restrictions, at least for now, Australia is increasingly resembling a prison. Recent reports tell us that the army is now patrolling Sydney's streets, enforcing a strict stay-at-home lockdown. Other reports state that police are going door-to-door -door in major cities, checking that people are not visiting each other. It is a terrifying scenario. Now, the recent restrictions are the most strict that Australia has yet experienced, as it apparently tries to grapple with the latest in a long line of variants, the so-called Delta variant. The language of some of its politicians is genuinely chilling. These politicians are actively encouraging Australians to report each other to authorities if any dare to step out of line, even accidentally. People are told not to engage in conversation, not to speak to each other. If you bump into your neighbour, don't say hello. It's incredible. Now, some more covert reports make horrifying claims. For example, that people are being forcefully vaccinated. Now, I can't vouch for that, but frankly, it wouldn't surprise me. Like so much of the world, this COVID crisis has completely transformed Australia. It has gone from one of the world's favourite countries to something resembling the Soviet Union. And like the rest of the world, the press is presenting only one narrative in relation to what's happening in Australia. So dissenting voices, opposition to these me measures is non-existent in the mainstream media there. There is also little press coverage of the shocking films showing police apparently pepper spraying a 12-year-old girl for not wearing a mask. This is despite the fact that there is no evidence to suggest masks have any impact on preventing the spread of this virus. What on earth has happened to us? How can we have gone from free people to this in such a short space of time? It feels like governments and police have just been waiting for reasons to bully us into fear and submission. Well, maybe they have. Maybe that's exactly what's going on. Australia's image is drastically changing because of this. Once known as a plain-speaking, tough, no-nonsense country, Australia now seems to be cowering in fear. How can a virus that even politicians have admitted is no worse than a bad flu, have transformed so much, so fast. Perhaps an even more important question is what is coming next? Will this ever end? If it does, what will the end look like? Australia is no longer the open outdoors adventure it once was. It's now fearful and closed and pushed around. That's its image. It's an image it may not be able to put right. Australians, like the rest of us, need to start standing up more and demanding a restoration of their freedoms. One man has and has started a Stand in the Park campaign. This involves people doing just that, standing in the park. It's happening every Sunday morning at 10am and has now spread to more than 600 parks across the world. It's a small but significant step and, to my mind, one that we should support. It takes just these small acts of defiance to inspire others. And that's what we need, to stand up together. If you can, support Stand in the Park. Support Australians resisting this. If we want our freedom back, we'll have to stand up together and demand it. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.